A local comic artist is using her talents to help create a safe space for her readers, a little escape into the world of comics. Grace Kachaturian caught up with the artist on her aspirations and the impact she's hoping to make. I grew up reading a lot of comics. I read Calvin and Hobbes and I read Tintin. And uh, then I moved into Japanese comics in my teens and kind of knew that I always wanted to do it. And it wasn't until in my 20s that I just decided that's all I want to do with art is just comics. I originally studied art at a community college in Peoria at ICC. And um, I didn't really, there's not an established career path to comics. It's kind of just you find yourself doing it. Um, so it wasn't until I graduated when I didn't have any more assignments or deadlines that I realized I could just make comics and there's no rules against that. So then I just started um, doing it. It's worth doing regardless of um, your popularity or any income attached to it. It's worth doing for the sake of doing. Um, and I think, you know, in the day, in our, our age of social media, there's a lot of pressure that you should do something to be successful. But I think with art, it's really important to know it's worth doing even if nobody else ever sees it. Um, but then I think kind of the second thing would be it's worth doing well. There's a lot to be said for trying to do better at a craft for the sake of being good at it. So it started, I would say, my art education as a college student leaned a bit more classical. It was very like still life based or painting from models or reference. Um, and so you kind of, I gained a lot of fundamental skills from that. And what I've been doing now, pursuing comics, is actually simplifying it and trying to figure out what not to draw, more so than like what to draw. <laughs> um, but it's gotten to the point, I mean, it's kind of like the storytelling. That's kind of how I see things now, is I try to simplify it in my brain, like automatically. I'm simplifying things to basic shapes, basic colors, and like turning it into a cartoon all the time in my brain. <laughs> I like telling stories and I love consuming stories both in comics and novels and uh, film and everything. Um, and so it's just kind of exciting that I can have a story idea and I can make it come to life. And comics is just uh, the medium that fit me the best. A lot of the times it's very character driven. So I have an idea for a fictional character and then I kind of build from there. And I figure out along the way what um, I figure out along the way how to communicate their story to the readers. So it feels more like I'm uncovering their story rather than creating it. I'm discovering it as I go. <laughs> I kind of always think in terms of story or narrative. It's kind of a perpetual like how I think um, and how I see the world. And I think very much about, um, I guess kind of constantly think about character development and people's backstories even if I don't know them. Real people like what their backstory is and um, yeah, stories just kind of pop up everywhere. <laughs> kind of a deeper level, I want them to see characters who are trying to be their best, and so um, I think what a good story does is makes you want to also be your best. Um, but at the same time, I like to be entertaining, and I like a little bit of humor and a little bit of um, escape from the world. <laughs> so I want them to both be their best, but also feel not pressured when they read my work. Having a moment of quiet where your brain can just kind of take in something relaxing as opposed to constantly trying to put out something, um, I think it's huge for everybody. So I guess what I would like to see going forward is my readership continue to grow to the point where I can slowly ease off of my day job and continue to do more and more of uh, my comic work, um, which is a very slow trudge to get there, but I'm kind of feeling like it's more and more worth it. The more progress I make, the more I want to make progress. On uh, Instagram, and it's at Miss Mark. It's pretty simple. And I'm also on YouTube, at Miss Mark. And then I do some exclusive, like, behind the scenes stuff on Patreon, where I do talk about, like, my sketches, my comic making progress, or process, um, and future pro uh, projects that I'm working on and that kind of stuff. So that's my behind the scenes is Patreon, uh, but everything else is online for free. Miss Mark hopes to someday be picked up by a publisher, but until then, she's happy to develop her following on her own. If you're interested in checking out Miss Mark's works, we'll connect you at CILiving.tv.